Hi everyone, hope you're staying happy and well. This video is to show you how to draw a simple mandala pattern of your own. Even if you don't have any tools like a compass or fancy pens, mandalas are a great way to relax and get your creativity flowing if you've been feeling a little stuck. Check out my other videos where I explain more about their uses and history. As I said, you don't need a compass for this, though they do make for satisfyingly precise patterns, so worth investing in if you want to make more. I'll put links in the description box for my favourite drawing tools and pens if you want to buy the same. All you need today is a pen, a piece of paper and a selection of different sized circular objects to draw around. So press pause now and go and have a rummage through your kitchen cupboards to see what you can find. I'm using a cap from a juice carton, an egg cup, a glass and a steel bowl that comes with a lid. Are you ready? Then let's begin! Starting with the largest item, position it on your paper, press it down so it won't move and carefully draw around the edge. It helps to angle your pen slightly inwards all the way round, otherwise the lip of the object or part of your pen can get in the way and send you a bit wonky. Now take the next object in size order and position it so it's as close to centred in the first circle as you can get. Then repeat the process until you've drawn your smallest circle. Here's where the creative magic happens. Draw a pattern in each of the layers, anything that springs to mind. Sometimes I like to start with a flower in the centre, or a spiral, or a star. The next layers could be a simple ring of dots, petals, teardrops or diamonds, crosses, straight or wavy lines, anything you like, I'm sure it will look great. A fine tipped pen allows for more delicate detailed patterns, but I'm still using the marker pen, just to prove that you can still make something pretty if that's all you have. It's easier to get an even pattern if you turn the paper as you go and your hand's always moving in the same direction. But I didn't want to make you all dizzy. <laughs> if you make a mistake, don't worry. It can be adapted somehow or at worst, you can always start again. Sometimes I like to leave the pattern as it is or just fill in certain sections to make other areas stand out. But if you have some coloured pens or pencils you can use, it's a nice way to keep the creative process going. Completely up to you. If you would like to learn more about making mandalas or join me for other nature-themed creative projects, I'm currently making more videos and also putting together some online and in-person classes. So go check out my website, inspiredfornature.co.uk and follow me on social media, subscribe on YouTube, you know how it works. Also, if you subscribe to my email list, you get a free print at home colouring page design every month, along with other perks. Thanks again, and until next time, stay inspired!